godfather of artificial intelligence has quit his job at Google, warning of the dangers of AI. There will come a point where no job is needed. According to World Economic Forum, 85 million jobs will be replaced by AI by 2025. Artificial intelligence could replace millions of jobs. It has been another week of big news in the world of AI, with developments that are sure to make headlines and change the way we live and work. We multiply 200 medium-sized things together into one giant thing. I think the danger of AI is much greater than the, the, the danger of nuclear warheads by a lot. From the latest breakthroughs in AI research to major companies announcing new AI initiatives. AI is far more dangerous than nukes. We should be cautious with AI. There's a lot to cover. So in this video, we will be covering seven biggest AI news stories that will leave you amazed. Let's get to it. Number one, Maya's groundbreaking feat. Mia is an AI tool that collaborated with NHS clinicians in the UK, analyzing mammograms from over 10,000 women. The majority were free from cancer, but Mia skillfully identified all cases showing symptoms of breast cancer, catching an extra 11 cases that slipped past the doctor's scrutiny. So this is one of the extra cancers that was picked up by the AI. But that is so tiny. Yes, it is indeed. Remarkably, out of 10,889 participants, only 81 opted out of having their scans reviewed by Mia. Trained on a database of more than 6,000 previous breast cancer cases, Mia learned the complex nuances and visual markers linked to malignant tumors. Its performance on new cases was impressive, accurately detecting cancer 81.6% of the time and ruling it out with 72.9% accuracy. Breast cancer ranks as the most prevalent cancer among women globally, with 2 million fresh diagnoses each year. Despite advancements in detection and treatment, patients often grapple with severe side effects, such as lymphoedema post-surgery and radiotherapy. Now, researchers are expanding Mia's capabilities to predict a patient's risk of such side effects for up to three years post-treatment. This advancement could pave the way for personalized care, offering alternative treatments or additional support to those at high risk. The research team aims to enroll 780 breast cancer patients in a clinical trial called PREACT. Over a two-year follow-up, they will validate Mia's AI risk prediction model. Ultimately, they envision an AI system capable of providing a comprehensive assessment of a patient's prognosis and treatment requirements. Number two, the UN's resolution on AI. On March 21st, the United Nations General Assembly made a historic move by unanimously passing the first ever global resolution on artificial intelligence, AI. This resolution aims to safeguard personal data, oversee AI for potential risks, and uphold human rights. Led by the United States and supported by 123 other countries, the resolution was embraced by all 193 UN member nations without the need for a formal vote. It marks a significant step towards ensuring that AI benefits everyone while minimizing its potential risks. U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris expressed optimism about the resolution, emphasizing its role in charting a balanced course for AI's advancement worldwide. This technology has the potential to unlock more progress on more issues for more people. The unanimous support highlights the shared commitment to harnessing AI's potential responsibly. Governments worldwide are increasingly recognizing the importance of guiding AI development to prevent potential negative consequences. Concerns include the misuse of AI to disrupt democratic processes, perpetrate fraud, or cause widespread job displacement. Number three, the digital twins for predictions. Introducing Foresight, a powerful tool harnessing generative pre-trained transformers, the same technology behind ChatGPT. Developed by researchers in the UK, Foresight initially learned from medical records and then utilized fresh healthcare data to create virtual replicas of patients. These digital twins are capable of predicting a range of outcomes, including disease progression and medication requirements. In trials with US data, Foresight accurately predicted patients' next conditions with an impressive 88% accuracy rate. However, its performance with British data was slightly lower. 
When tested with information from two UK national health trusts, the tool achieved prediction accuracies of 68% and 76% respectively. Despite these variations, there's optimism surrounding the potential of digital twins in healthcare. The research team envisions these virtual replicas guiding diagnoses and treatment plans and even shaping clinical research. James Teo, a study co-author and director of data science and AI at King's College Hospital, likens the tool's forecasts to glimpses into possible alternate realities of disease understanding. Before foresight can be widely deployed, further refinement and testing are necessary. The researchers are actively working on an improved version, Foresight 2, aiming to enhance its accuracy and effectiveness. Number 4. 8 million jobs to be lost to AI. The Institute for Public Policy Research, IPPR, recently released a report discussing the potential effects of AI on jobs in the UK. According to the study, without prompt government action, there could be a significant disruption in the job market, affecting more than 8 million workers. The report highlights two main phases of AI adoption. The first phase, already underway, puts around 11% of tasks performed by UK workers at risk. These tasks include routine cognitive and organizational work, like managing databases and scheduling. In a potential second phase, AI could take over up to 59% of tasks, impacting higher-paying jobs and non-routine cognitive tasks, such as creating databases. Bhargav Srinivasa Desikan, a senior research fellow at IPPR, emphasizes the potential impact on jobs like copywriting, graphic design, and personal assistance. The challenge lies in steering technological advancements to create new job opportunities, boost productivity, and benefit the economy as a whole. Worst case, 7.9 million job losses with no GDP gains. Central case, 4.4 million job losses, but a 6.3% GDP growth, 144 billion year. And best case, no job losses and a 13% GDP boost, 306 billion year by augmenting at-risk jobs. The report warns that without government intervention, the worst-case scenario of job displacement is plausible. It calls for a job-centric AI strategy with fiscal incentives, regulations ensuring human oversight, and support for green jobs less susceptible to automation. Number 5. Amazon's $2.75 billion investment into Anthropic. Amazon announced a big boost in its investment in Anthropic a company focused on artificial intelligence. Our investment really reflects the way that we're partnering very expansively with Anthropic to bring these remarkable foundation models that Anthropic calls Claude uh, to customers across every single industry and uh, every single use case. They're putting an extra $2.75 billion into Anthropic, making it a total of $4 billion. This investment means Amazon will own a minority share of Anthropic, a competitor of OpenAI, the creator of ChatGPT. Swami Siva Subramanian, who leads data and AI at Amazon Web Services, AWS, highlighted the significance of generative AI, calling it a game changer. He mentioned that their partnership with Anthropic will enhance customer experiences. Amazon initially invested $125 billion in Anthropic last September and had plans to invest up to $4 billion. Amazon and Anthropic are working together to develop foundational models for generative AI systems. These models are crucial for the advanced AI systems grabbing global attention. Anthropic will mainly rely on AWS as its cloud provider and will utilize Amazon's specialized chips to develop, train, and deploy AI models. Additionally, Anthropic will offer access to its AI models through Amazon's Bedrock service which is already being used by companies like Delta Airlines and Siemens. This investment reflects the ongoing trend of major tech companies investing in AI startups. It's part of a broader movement driven by increasing interest from both the public and businesses in AI technology. Number 6. Delta Electronics Hardware The recent NVIDIA GTC conference not only showcased the latest advancements in AI, but also served as a platform for discussing sustainability in the AI landscape. Delta Electronics, renowned for its electrical and energy management solutions, stole the spotlight by unveiling groundbreaking hardware 
aimed at significantly reducing energy consumption in AI data centers. This innovation arrives at a critical juncture as the rapid expansion of AI poses a pressing challenge to data centers, potentially leading to excessive energy usage. Projections indicate a staggering 200% annual increase in the size of these vital data centers by 2030. Undeterred by this looming threat, Delta Electronics took center stage at GTC 2019, revealing a range of products designed to enhance power efficiency throughout the entire data center chain, from grid electricity to individual AI processing chips. Delta Electronics' commitment to sustainability extends beyond a single invention, spanning many years of dedication to crafting energy-efficient solutions. Their focus extends beyond data centers, encompassing renewable energy sources and electric vehicle charging infrastructure. With expertise in 100% redundancy power, electronics, Delta Electronics, is poised to spearhead the transformation of AI infrastructure towards a sustainable future. By integrating Delta Electronics' energy-efficient technologies, the future of AI not only promises unparalleled power, but also eco-friendliness. This pioneering technology opens up vast opportunities for AI research and development that align with environmental conservation, countering the growing concerns of environmental pollution stemming from AI development. Number seven, the era of collective AI is here. Luchboro University, MIT, and Yala researchers have introduced a groundbreaking idea called collective AI. This concept, outlined in a paper in Nature Machine Intelligence, suggests a framework called Shared Experience Lifelong Learning, Shell, where multiple independent AI agents work together like a hive mind. These agents continuously learn and share knowledge throughout their lifetimes, creating more scalable and efficient systems compared to centralized architectures. By learning from their own experiences and shared knowledge, shell systems show faster learning, better performance, and increased flexibility, resembling biological organisms' adaptability. Lead researcher Dr. Andrea Soltogio envisions instant knowledge sharing across a network of AI units, enabling rapid responses to new situations or threats. Much like the human immune system's coordinated defense, this decentralized approach could lead to disaster response robots and personalized medical agents, enhancing health outcomes by merging medical knowledge with patient-specific data. Real-world applications for collective AI include space exploration, personalized medicine, cybersecurity, disaster response, and multi-agent sensing for tasks like search and rescue. Just as natural systems, such as fish shoals and bird flocks, demonstrate resilience through collective yet independent action, decentralized AI shows promise in shaping the future of technology. If you have made it this far, let us know what you think in the comment section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.